Today I've got a cool little modification for your car or motorcycle. It's going to cost you less than 10 bucks and it's kind of handy. Let's roll the intro. Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Mike Barker. Thank you so, thank you so much for tuning in once again. Listen, today a really, really super quick, super cheap little project. We're gonna install a battery isolator or battery cutoff switch. Uh, it's got a couple different names. On the A86 Corolla here, as well as the CB750K, because I know that's what most people are here for. I figured this video would benefit a lot of different folks though, whether you've got a classic car, motorcycle, RV, boat, any of that stuff. So here we go. This is what we're installing. So chances are you've seen these things before. They look like this. Focus camera, focus. It's highly likely that you've seen these before at the automotive parts store. It's a simple battery cutoff switch. Let's answer the first question though. Why would you want to install one of these? The first reason that you might want to install one of these is if you have a car that you like to store in the winter time, but maybe it's a hassle getting the wrenches out or, or even worse, you take the car to store it somewhere and oh, you forgot the wrenches to disconnect the battery. It's a pain in the bum. Well, this makes that easy because what happens is once we get this installed, all you do Battery's disconnected, reconnected, job done. The second reason is anti-theft because you can wheel this thing out of here and now there's no connection, the battery's disconnected. Well, that might work for you, but I'm pretty sure if somebody's got the hood open on your car already, uh, chances are they probably know how to jump the thing or hot wire it or make a connection. Yeah, it might work. But the third reason is my favorite reason. It's why I'm installing this on the Corolla and the CV750K. And that's to troubleshoot or do electrical wire. Because if you're going back and forth and the manual says, oh, you really should disconnect the battery before doing anything, any, any electrical servicing, whatever. Well, undoing this with the wrench, tightening it up, putting it back on, it's a bit inconvenient. This twist, hey, we're connected, disconnected. Makes things super simple. Holy, that light is bright. Well, at least at least it can help you guys see what's going on here. For this, super simple. All I need is a 10 mil wrench and my battery disconnect. The first thing you wanna do is remove the negative cable from the battery. And hold up. You always wanna remove the negative terminal first. It's the safest thing to do because if you're uh, freaking around with the positive terminal at all and this is connected and you use a wrench that's longer than mine, and you come across, you tighten it, and you touch terminal to terminal, boom, instant welded wrench. I'm going to install mine in this orientation on the battery because I want this green handle to clear the roof of the car. Oh, well, that's not gonna fit. I guess I need a different size wrench. Good. Then we're just gonna move the cable back to the post, the end of the uh, disconnect here. Jam that on good. Tighten that up. Of course, mine's upside down, so this is fun. And there we go, we're done. Don't worry, I am gonna fix this cracked ground cable. Ooh. And now, there's only one thing left to do. See if it works. And for that, let's use some amazing 1980s style. All right, now, I love this old car. Me and my dad built this car. Anybody want to hear that story? Let me know, comment down below. Here we go. Turn the knob backwards, counterclockwise. Back on. Perfect, job done. Now, on the CB here, it's a little different story. Not much though. Same procedure, you're gonna disconnect the negative terminal, but you're gonna use a slightly different looking Disconnect, I wonder if we can see this. It's the same procedure though, we're gonna disconnect our negative battery cable and then install our cutoff. Now of course, if you wanna pick up one of these disconnects or battery isolators, you can hit the links that are down in the description below. They're affiliate links, so if you purchase something, I do get a small commission. All of that money is going back into this channel and making these videos. With that all done, we can check to see if the disconnect works by turning on the key, seeing some indicator lights, seeing if this works. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's gonna do it for today's videos, guys. Listen, I hope you really enjoyed a little, uh, a little deviation with the Corolla GTS and of course a good old CV750K here. If you're following along with these videos, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications, smash a like button if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't enjoy this video, hit it twice. Guys, that's gonna be it for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.